everybody, this is Amy. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to be painting a design, a daisy and a yellow flower design on this glass bottle. I will be using a number 8 Royal Aqualon Filbert brush, number 12 Plaid One Stroke Flat Brush, and then a 1 quarter Scruffy brush, also Plaid One Stroke Brush. Paint I'm using, all our folk art paints between enamels and multi-surface. I will be using Thicket, Happy Green, Yellow Ochre, Skullbush Yellow, Pale Yellow, Wicker White, Vintage White, and last but not least, Burnt Umber. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to be starting by doing my beginning daisies with, I'm literally just dipping them into my plate and then just dipping into the vintage. So I'm not doing any special loading. I'm just dipping and, and going. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I'm just placing down the strokes. Now I'll just keep loading and going around it, pulling it in. I'm just not real, as far as uh, loading them, loading the brush, I'm just dipping. So it's really very, very easy. Not something that's very difficult to do. Just literally sticking the brush down straight down into the paint. Alright. I thought this would be so pretty on this on this bottle. And I think I'm getting good coverage. You know, I like to have the opaque look. And I really think with the way I'm loading this, I'm getting a lot of paint on my brush. So it's definitely accomplishing my need to be opaque. Alright, so I have those, those down. Then what I'm going to go ahead and do is go through, basically do the same thing. I didn't even clean off my brush. I'm dipping into the yellows and I'm using all three yellows. That's the school bus, the pale yellow, and the yellow ochre. And first what I'm going to do is basically stroke in a bud, or what I would consider a bud. And I'm trying to make it a little round. Just stroking it in. And I want to make sure that it is opaque, so I am covering it up. I'm going back in over it. Now you can bake this bottle if you'd like. I would recommend taking the lid off the lid is, lid is metal. And I would stand it up if you're painting any other sides besides the front. Just make sure that when you bake it, nothing's touching it. You, know, you don't want to lay it down on that side and bake it is basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, so here's my little bud. And then I'm going to use the same colors. I'm just, again, just dipping it. You can, you can do a little blending stroke if you want. I don't really, I'm not too concerned with that. But then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to stroke in my little well, I guess they're five petal flowers. I'm not worrying about a blending stroke, but you can do one if you'd like. And I just want to close this up a little bit. You know, if you want it to be more opaque, go ahead and keep working it. Not worried about that too much. I'm going to put another one here. I'm just touching my brush and pulling it, touching and pulling. It's very quick. 
pull. You can overlap them if you wish. You can turn your bottle if you feel like that stroke that you're getting isn't great. You know, you don't like it. Turn your bottle then. It's perfectly fine. So much easier than working on a wall or something that's can't be turned and then you're, you're stuck where you can't turn it and you've still got to keep you know doing these strokes and making it look nice And this one, I'm going to kind of put another one in here, maybe a little bit smaller version. Like that. You don't have to use as many colors as I am. I just really wanted to use these three colors again. I used them in a more recent, I think it was in my last video actually, these three colors together. I really liked them together, so here they are again. And then I'm just going to put another one over here. Pretty easy flowers, very easy. Just push down, pull, push. You're pushing down and you're pulling. Pushing down and you're pulling. And there we go. And they don't all have to be the same color. You can have some that are lighter in color. Some that look like they have more color. It, it really is up to you. For the centers, I'm going to use my scruffy. And it too, I'm just dipping into all the colors. I'm just very random with this. And then I'm just going to come up here to it and put it in. If you feel like you need to have a little bit more color showing, you can go back and load your brush again. And you can turn it too while you're doing it. Very easy, very simple. I know I say that a lot. You guys are probably like, oh, yeah, right. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just pick up a little bit of the brown, or try to try to be a little bit. And I do try to tap it off onto the glass a little bit so I don't have, like, full strength on there. But I just want it to be down here at the bottom. Just kind of around their, their bottom here. And it doesn't have to be real uniform. I'm not really caring too much about that. I just want it to be down the bottom of it. And so I come back up in here and tap it a little bit. If you feel like you need to give it a little bit more time, because you are doing wet on wet, you can hit this with a hair dryer or a heat gun and then come back over it. Now these are kind of blending in because I'm using basically the same colors. So I might want to tap in some white along with this. And I have plenty of white on my plate. So I can definitely do that. And I am doing the wicker white. And I'm just trying to tap along the top, whichever direction I consider the flyer to be going in that to be the top. And then what I can do is do what I just did on the, the actual daisies and tap in the bottom. Or you could use a liner brush if you wanted to do that instead with a liner brush. I'm just going to stick with the with the scruffy I like the look it gives it. It doesn't have to be real defined. Just kind of random. 
I got that on the top. Anyways, I think you're getting the gist of it. Yeah, like that. I think those are pretty. You know, just like that. So then my leaves are going to be, well, let me turn this right the right way. I know I get myself loading my brush the wrong way. I'm doing the happy green, the thicket, and on the happy green side, I am going to touch in a little bit of the wicker white. The white helps to give it, oh, what I want to say, it helps it to be more opaque. And I really do like the look of, of these um, leaves being opaque, or any of my drawings or paintings, to be opaque. Now for the buds, I am just coming over it. Try not to scrape off too much of the yellow, but trying to do more of a bud looking over it. If you feel like you need more of the green, the lighter green, you know, go ahead and, and add. You can turn your brush around because it depends on how you lead your brush, what color you're leading with as to what results you're going to get. And then we just keep working it. And you don't have to touch real hard. You can you know, just touch it lightly so that you aren't dragging a lot of the underneath paint. Now this is what I'm talking about. I came back over it with my lighter green. But I have my brush going this way instead of the opposite direction which would have more of the dark green showing. I like that. I think it's pretty. Okay, so then now that we've got those, we are going to let's do our stems. I mean, I can look like I'm leading into that one, coming down here, and I'm going to pull off a stem down that direction. Can I make it look like it's all hooked together? I sure I can. Am I going to? No, I don't think I am. I think I'm going to make it look like it all has different different stems and this kind of, not all of them, some of them can be hooked together. And this one, let's see where we're at here. That, I can get it come out like this. I hope you understand what I mean by that. This one, I can have it come down like this. These two, yeah, I mean, I can definitely have them coming. If I feel like I need to put some more color into them, we can do this, surely do that, you know, by just going back over it. And then you can go back over it with more of the green, the darker green, the thicket, if you wish. What I'm going to do now, I think I need to throw some more wick, um, not wicker, but some more of the thicket on here. Not a lot. That's a lot of waste from paint. All right, so what I'm going to do now, still using the same combination, dip, dipping into the white, is I want to come up here, and I can come up here and just make it a little thicker around the bud. A little thicker if I want to come up like that, and then I can do some leaves. Okay, if you overlap, definitely okay. I can do like a little stem into the leaf if I want, and then do that over here. I can just randomly, I'm not going to use fancy leaves on this. I think typically with daisies you don't have a real fancy leaf. I mean, you can actually just go with having like grass and stuff coming up around it. But for the purpose of this video I'm just going to use some basically easy leaves. 
Just keep it simple. Keep it simple. I think eventually I'm going to do a leaf tutorial. And this one, so I'm not going to even add what I did over there. I don't have to. I don't, I don't have to make them look the same. And you can always come back down like this and put, you know, put more greenery into it so it doesn't look like you just have wings. If you get what I mean. And then I can come up here. I can add two if I want to make them look like there, or I can make it three. Add another one going up that direction. Like I said, I'm just going to try to keep it a little light and simple. You don't have to do very big leaves with this, or you can keep them all the same size. Up to you. But I like just to make it, oh, it's a little sloppy, make it very easy. And it's okay. You know, if it's easy, it doesn't mean it's not nice. It just means that more than one person can paint it. Now that it's something that a lot of people can paint. And have a nice gift or a nice, you know, home decor piece. Without having to spend a whole lot of money. Because you don't on these. And it was in one of the groups I belong to, somebody said, well, where do you get your bottles on? Somebody says, well, I go through my neighbor's recycle bin. Especially if you're not a drinker, which I'm not. You know, for me to gather up bottles, I really have to get them from people that drink. Because I don't. It would take me forever. Like I said, we're just uh, doing that. Keeping it simple. Very pretty. You know, if you wanted to add in some other, you know, other little flowers into this, you could. I'm just going to keep it like that. I hope you like this video. If you do, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And then, once you're done viewing the video, if you would... Share this video with all of your family and friends on your social network. I would certainly appreciate it. All right. Until the next one, you have a good one. Mm -hmm.